Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. I'm very much distraught at what I've heard in the last few days on cable news shows, network news shows, conversations taking place as it relates to firearms and the assault weapons ban. You see, it's being relayed by our president, by many in Congress, that the only way we can stop these mass shootings is to reinstate the previous assault weapons ban, to put a limit on magazine capacity. We must take this action to save our children. Well, in my last video, I talked a great deal about the assault weapons ban and how it made some progress with deaths. But when you look at the deaths that took place, those murders that took place, that the rifle is rarely used, that you're much more likely to be injured or killed with a knife, with some other form of weapon like a bat or a pipe, with hands and feet, than an assault weapon, a military-style arm. They suggest that there is absolutely no need in our society for these things. Well, they're lying to you. They are all lying to you. And I believe that it's a lie. It's a deception. And it's done on purpose. They don't want you to know what the true facts are. Let's just look back at that previous assault weapons ban that took place, that was in effect from 1994 to 2004. What do we see? Well, on March 24 of 1998, <clears throat> Five were killed and ten were injured in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Two assailants pulled a fire alarm at a school and then opened fire on the children as they left their classrooms. The assailants were mere children themselves and had no reason to have a firearm. But that assault weapons ban had been in place for a few years and it did not prevent that. It did not save those children. On April the 20th, 1999, 13 killed, 24 injured in another school, Columbine, Ohio. How many times have we heard Columbine, Ohio in the last couple of days in a call to reinstate an assault weapons ban that had been in place for five years? Again, young people were the assailants and they did not have legal possession of those firearms. July 29th, 1999. Nine killed, 12 injured in Atlanta, Georgia. A workplace violence scenario. September the 15th, again in 1999. Five years after the assault weapons ban had been in effect. Seven killed, seven injured in Fort Worth, Texas. December 26th of 2000, seven killed. March 5th of 2001, two killed, 13 injured at another school, our children. July the 8th of 2003, five killed in Mississippi, another workplace violence event. You see, they don't want you to understand this. They don't want you to be able to correlate what's really going on. And that is a hope that many have had to take firearms away from the citizens of the United States, of the law-abiding citizens of the United States. I do not speak for the NRA. Do not worry about the NRA. It is the American people that know better. And no matter how dramatic your rhetoric I will stand up and I will let you know my opinions. Thank you for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate it. And remember to shoot straight on the range and more importantly, and in life. Thank you.